I don't want it to be a distraction. Uh, you know, I've been around guys who have been in extension talks before and they've, you know, expressed that same feeling that they don't want it to be a, be a distraction. I mean, really for me, all I've been trying to do this off season is make myself better. Um, you know, I've seen the team grow in this off season and, you know, we're starting to get a better chance to compete as the team, uh, you know, shapes up and, you know, I'm doing the same thing for, with myself. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to make sure that I'm uh, ready to compete. I'm ready to be the same player that I was last year. Um, you know, so I, I, I don't, I don't want the extension stuff, you know, selfish type stuff to be something that's going to be in the way of us winning games. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want it to be a distraction from what we're trying to do this year. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't want it to linger into the season. Uh, I don't want to linger, you know, I'm not going to put a date on it, um, you know, but I, I don't want it to be something that is, um, you know, constantly talked about as we're getting ready to, to go for the season. Obviously, I couldn't be more excited about having a chance to play with Lindor as a guy that I've admired from afar. Um, you know, really a big piece of that trade was also uh, Carrasco. Um, you know, being that we, we, uh, we hit so well last year, you know, our, our biggest need probably wasn't the, on the bat side, it was probably on the pitching side, and, um, you know, and also admiring, uh, Carlos Carrasco from afar, uh, it was really exciting to, to, to add him to the, to the starting rotation. You know, I think we've added some great pieces. I think we've added some great, uh, team personalities who are all pulling in the same direction. And I'm extremely excited to, to, to get to know these guys a little bit better. I've, I've admired them from afar, but um, I think we all understand that, you know, the New York Mets, people are talking about them, um, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything if we go out there and we lose, you know, more games that we win uh, than we win. Uh, you know, the talk, Talk is cheap. We we need to go out there and we need to put the work in and we need to to, to win a lot of games. So it's it's been a dream of mine to to be a person to um, make an impact in my community. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. You know, growing up being a being an athlete, being um, you know somebody that young kids look up to, um, and it's somebody you know it, it's it's a person that. I have looked up to as a kid as well, you know, in my Seattle community. And for me to do that in the New York community is, is, uh, is a dream. It's, it's a dream come true. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm extremely humbled, um, to be an inspiration on and off the field. And, um, you know, I couldn't be more excited to, uh, you know, to accept this award and, and, uh, to be, to be named with all of these incredible, uh, other award winners uh, in this class.